Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new series on how to use Napalm for network automation. In this series, I'm going to show you how to install Napalm. I'm going to show you how to integrate your host PC with Genius 3 so that you can um, run the scripts directly from your PC to Genius 3 that will um, create more convenience when um, designing scripts. And so I look at Napalm. Napalm is used for network automation and it's a Python um, library. And Napalm um, provides an abstraction layer to interact with different networking devices using a unified API. So we, when you say unified API, it's just like um, something like a REST API. So with a unified API, what we get is that um, you get to send um, the same command to um, network devices as you can see we have um, supported devices over here we have arista us cisco us cisco ios xl cisco nox and then you have the juniper os so in this series we are going to see how we are going to um, query um, these devices for information and also perform network um, configuration using napalm so without wasting much time i'm going to show you how to install napalm first of all make sure you have pip installed or, sorry you have Python install. So to install Python, you just go to um, download Python for Windows, or if you are using Linux, Python is already installed. And I also make sure, have to make sure that um, you have pip installed. I will include um, the links to the installation um, in the description. So once again, I open my terminal and I have Python installed. As you can see, I have Python 3.10. And also, we go through the installation process for um, Napalm. So first of all, we will install NetMiko. I already have NetMiko installed, so um, I'm sure for you, you will have to install it. And also have um, Napalm installed. So copy Napalm to you. And for my end, I have Napalm installed. You might be having a different response and therefore you will need to install these um, libraries and also lastly i will install um, simple json so sorry simple json will just format the output to a better um, human readable form and also so here we install simple json now, as you can see, I have simple JSON installed. So you have to make sure you have all these libraries installed. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to integrate your host PC. This is this PC that you'll be using for these um, tutorials with GNS3 so that you can just send commands from your PC. You design a script on your local PC and then you send it to your local devices in GNS3. Thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video.